Hey there, I just realized I needed to make another video today because um, one of the things that I want to do um, I've been a witch all my life. My grandmother taught me about witchcraft and paganism um, and that basically Wicca um, and that's uh, simply um, you know, it's kind of a scary word for a lot of people, witchcraft, Wicca, all that it's basically um, in my mind um, uh, nature is the purest evidence that we have of God. Um, everything else around us is failing. So, um, uh, what, you know, what can I say? Wicca is, uh, you know, there's basically uh, one rule in Wicca, and that's um, harm nothing. So anyways, I want to let you know about a little bit of lore in the witchcraft Wicca world. And tomorrow is Imbolc. I M B O L C, or candle moss, um, and um, you can go and look stuff up online. But um, just like with my full moon thing that I talked about um, on the full moon, there's little bits and pieces of stuff that you can just do. You don't need to do full blown rituals and stuff, but a really amazing little lovely ritual that you can do for candle moss um, is you take a candle, one candle, and you bless that candle on candle moss, on Imbolc, tomorrow. And you use that candle to um, to basically light all your candles for the rest of the year. So, if it's a small candle, you of course want to be really careful. But, um, doing simple little things like this, you won't believe how it enhances your life. And so, um, you know, that's all I want to say is, is um, uh, the uh, seasons, there's, there's eight um, days, and, and this, was, this is the first pagan holiday of the year, um, of 2010, of the regular, you know, of the way we observe it, although the Wiccan, the Wiccan calendar, or the pagan calendar, starts on winter solstice, um, which is December 21st, or December, usually December 21st, somewhere in there. It's sometimes it's on the 20th and as late as the 23rd. But anyways, beginning 2010, Imbolc is the first um, pagan holiday. And it's a special one for me um, because it was really the first uh, day where when I was an adult where I started doing my own rituals. So do that little simple thing and, and um, just honoring magic. So um, anyways, um, I will uh, try to give you little bits and pieces of stuff about being a little tied into nature and really the you know, one of the only the only um, religions of the world that we have that really really interface with um, with nature are a lot of the indigenous religions and Wicca most of them don't really you know place a high importance on it although it is quite 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 interesting to see that the um the catholic church calendar seems to have a day very close to all the indigenous um pagan holidays um which i was brought up um catholic and pagan side by side um so um and i'm not so catholic anymore except for going to church with my mom every now and then just to go with her and of course it's quite a sight when I show up in there with my mohawk and my stretched ears. But nonetheless, um, yeah, so I just want to let you know, uh, all know, to um, just start getting more in touch with uh, with um, um, nature. And the best way to do that is through ritual. And uh, start lighting candles throughout your house. Um, you know, one lovely thing that you can do is to empower a candle, to bless it, is to take a little bit of... Uh, essential oil, something like patchouli, your choice, doesn't make any difference. Put it on your hands and rub it upwards on the candle and, and directions and just send your intention into that candle. That's the candle that you'll bless tomorrow and then you can use that candle later to bless more candles and um, there's all kinds of things that you can do and uh, hopefully if I, I stay happy in this world I'll keep um, posting lots of stuff to you and I'd, I'd love to teach all you raw foodists about um, the basics of Wicca. Um, ritual is a lovely thing to have in our life and it's a, a lovely quiet time 
especially in this wacky, crazy world of um, lots of commuting and lots of um, overstimulation from TV, our jobs, our bosses, the need to pay bills, um, the need for possessions, and all of the fucking crazy people that are in our life. Um, you know, have a little quiet time, and I will do my best to remind you all, hopefully a day or two ahead of time, um, when full moons and new moons and uh, sabbats and uh, solstices and equinoxes and all that stuff is coming up. So we have a new moon coming up in roughly two weeks and then we have another full moon and then um, the next major uh, pagan holiday is going to be um, spring, spring equinox. So um, anyways, that's Keith giving you uh, my first little tidbit on Wicca.